Okay, let's look at our learning target for today. It says, I can write the standard form of a number written in word form by drawing a place value organizer. So let's look at some of the vocabulary in our learning target, and it should be words that you're familiar with. So we're asked to write the standard form of the number, and it's going to be written in word form. And we're gonna do this by drawing a place value organizer. So we know we're gonna be focusing on place value and you're gonna to have to be able to draw this organizer on your own, it won't be provided for you. So we're gonna change word form to standard form. So let's look at our first example. Our first example says 5,490 Six. So let's first draw our place value organizer. So let's start over here on the right. What place value is this? This is the ones place. Moving to the left, our next place is the tens place. Then we have the hundreds place. Our next place value is the thousands place. Then we have the ten thousands place. Finally, we have the hundred thousands place. So here's our place value organizer. Let's see if we can turn word form into standard form. So first we have five thousand. That tells me that I have a five in the thousands place. So here's my thousands place, and I'm gonna put a five. Giving, having a five in the thousands place means it has a value of 5,000. Now we have 496. So I can see here, I have the amount of 400. So I'm gonna put the digit four in the hundreds place. Now, the only thing I have left is 96. I know that 96 is nine tens and six ones. So let's check ourselves. 5,496 in word form can be represented 5,496. Let's look at another example. Let's read this example together. 21,307. So again, let's start by drawing our place value organizer. Let's label our places. We have the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, the thousands place, the ten thousands place, and the hundred thousands place. So let's start. Our first chunk is 21,000. So I know I can't put two digits in one place, but I do know that I have 21,000, so that means I have a two in the tens that in the ten thousands place given me twenty thousand and a one in the thousands place given me one thousand this represents our twenty one thousand the next part our next chunk is three hundred seven so that tells me i have a three in the hundreds place so here's my hundreds place and i'm going to put the digit three there that gives me a value of 300. Now, I see 307. Well, I know if I put a seven here, that's gonna turn into 70. So I know that seven has to come in the ones place. But what does that mean I need to put here? If we don't have a digit, we need to represent it with a zero. So since we don't have any tens, we put a zero. 
So let's check ourselves. Our first chunk, we have 21,000, which is represented here for 21,000. Then we have 307, which is represented 307 here. Let's look at one more example. Let's read it together. 800,016. So again, let's draw our place value organizer. We have the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, the thousands place, the ten thousands place, and the hundred thousands place. So going back to word form, we have 800,000. That means I know I need to have the digit eight in the hundred thousands place. Well, here it is right here. This is my hundred thousands place. So I'm gonna put an eight here. Now, I see that this is my first chunk and it is just 800,000. I will need to add zeros for the ten thousands place and the thousands place because I do not have digits there. In order to represent 800,000, I need to put 800 in this thousands cluster. Now, my last part says 16. I know that 16 is one ten and six ones. And again, I do not have a digit in my hundreds place, so I'll represent that with another zero. So now we have written the number 800,000. Here's our first cluster, 800,016. 800,016. So let's go back to our learning target. Our learning target for today was I can write the standard form of a number written in word form by drawing a place value organizer. Now, you will try some on your own. If you need extra support, please watch the video again and stop and rewatch as needed. If you still need support, please reach out to your teacher.